Most uterine cancers are found early, stage one or two disease, and most can be treated minimally invasive using robotic surgery or minimally invasive laparoscopic surgery techniques. So something we're offering at Englewood is pelvic and periodic sentinel lymph node mapping in the management and staging of uterine or endometrial cancers. Using robotic technology is really a very exciting time in the field of gynecologic cancers, and especially uterine and endometrial cancers, because with robotic technology comes fluorescent technology. We're able to inject a chemical at the cervix, which is essentially part of the uterus, and follow that dye, this chemical dye, to the lymph nodes. And it allows us to isolate the most likely lymph nodes that are gonna be involved, if any are involved, in the spread of this type of cancer. And because we can map out these lymph nodes, we can remove selectively these individual lymph nodes without taking out the entire chain of lymph nodes in the pelvis and periodic region. Sentinel node mapping in the management of uterine cancers has allowed us to really reduce the side effects related to cancer treatment with the same outcomes. It's very important when you get diagnosed with cancer to get managed and treated in a cancer center. Cancer center is different than a physician office, than one person, a surgeon, regardless of his or her expertise. It requires a multidisciplinary approach. It requires a big team. We are fortunate here at the Left Court Family Cancer Treatment and Wellness Center to offer this team approach. From the first time that you get to the cancer center, you will be taken care by nurse navigator, by a myriad of cancer services that are all focused about you and on your care. We've now performed over a thousand robotic surgeries in the field of gynecologic oncology and gynecology, which is more than people in the region have performed. It's one of the first institutions to have that landmark. It makes us better physicians, it makes us better surgeons, and it keeps us in, in line with the national recommendations and the national up-to-date trends that are occurring in our field. And now, some of the patients do present with more advanced disease, stage three and four disease, and that often requires what we call a multimodality approach, surgery with chemotherapy and maybe even radiation to treat these patients. There's research coming out in all the fields of gynecologic cancer, very exciting and we're able to offer all these types of modalities, improving outcomes for our patients.